Cigarettes on cigarettes, my mama think I stink. I got burn holes in my hoodies, all my homies think it. So now what we're going to do is rotate about what's called an arbitrary axis. About an arbitrary or random, you can think of it, arbitrary um, axis, okay? So what this looks like uh, graphically, let's say we have uh, some function. We're going to do the same function here. So x and y, here's our f of x, f of x, and here's our g of x, okay? So there's g of x. This is our a and b, a and b. But this time, let's say we rotate it about um, not around the x, so not around x-axis like normal. That's what we've been doing. But what we're going to do is uh, around, but around, okay, hold on, but around another horizontal axis um, around let's say uh, y is equal to a constant y is equal to a constant and we'll make that constant be a negative 2 in this case so here's like negative 2 so we have some negative some uh, horizontal line here so this is y equals negative 2 so that now this bold line down here this is our axis of rotation so when we do draw uh, our radii um, plural of radius right then we're not going to draw it from here up to the graph. We're going to draw it all the way from based at y equals negative 2 and then up to our graphs respectively. So this one would be the short one, right? This is our little r. And this one would be the, the big r, right? That's the furthest. So this is capital R. So now our job is to figure out what is the form, what are the formulas for that capital R and the lowercase r, okay? So um, let's see, our capital R, first of all, that would be given by top minus bottom, so this is going to be f of x minus a negative 2, because that's the bottom function, right? So we just get f of x plus 2, so that would be the equation for our uh, capital R. And lowercase r is going to be uh, g of x, which is the top there, and minus a negative 2 again. So g of x minus a negative 2, so that becomes a plus 2, so we have g of x plus 2, okay? Um, so anyways, so this is basically like top minus bottom, that's what I did. And then what we would do is just take these, this is our capital R, that's our lowercase r, and we would just plug it into uh, the volume formula. So I'll do that on the next slide. So let's say, uh, so our volume formula is pi times the integral from a to b of capital R squared minus little r squared and then dx. So if I plug those in, what we got on the previous slide, we're going to get the uh, pi times the integral from a to b of capital R squared, so that would be f of x plus 2 all squared minus um, g of x plus 2 all squared and then our dx there okay and then uh, another here's a little side note so let's say our axis of rotation were on top and if that was the case then we would have something that looks like this so then we have our f of x g of x g of x f of x here's our a to b okay a and b and let's say our constant is instead up here okay so y equals some constant up there so that means that we're going to start our point there and we're going to draw down to the closest graph so this is going to be our little r and then we also start at the top somewhere and then we draw down to the lowest graph there so this is the area that we want to rotate right so we want to land at the closest point and then at the furthest point okay so then this is going to be our capital r and so our equations would change a little bit right for our for our radii so the capital R would then be top minus bottom, so that's going to be C minus F of X, and little r is going to be C minus, uh, sorry, C of, so the first one, sorry, I read that wrong. So S capital R is going from C, which is up here, to the bottom one, so which is G of X, actually. C to G of X, okay, and then little r is going from C to uh, our top function, which is F of X, because it's going the shortest distance, right? to that top function there. Okay, so then from this point, we would just plug it in. Uh, on the We're integrating on the interval a to b and using dx. So then we would just plug it in as v is equal to pi times integral from a to b of capital R. So that would be c minus g of x squared and then minus a c minus f of x quantity squared and then our dx. Okay. So now, uh, the last thing that I want to go over is rotating about a vertical axis, okay? What we've been doing so far is rotating uh, about a horizontal axis, so rotating about a vertical axis, um, and a horizontal axis, vertical, hold on, I can't multitask, um, so vertical axis, there we go. So what we've been doing, like I said, is we've been uh, rotating a, about a horizontal axis, such as the x, the x uh, axis, or which is y equals zero, or another like where y equals some constant, right? 
So now what we're going to do is let's say we have a graph such as the following. So we have here's our x, here's our y, right? And then we have some f of g, or sorry, f of y, f of y, and here's a g of y, g of y, all right? So here now, uh, and we're integrating on c to d. That's where we're rotating. So we want this section here, this one right in here, to be rotated about the y-axis. So we're going to kind of spin it around like such, okay? So vertically. So if we go from our axis rotation, which here is x equals 0, right, which is the y-axis, and we draw to the closest graph, or to the closest border, this is our little r. And then if we take that again, we start at the axis rotation, and draw to the furthest part of our region, then that gives us uh, the big R, okay? So here we're going to have big R. Uh, let's figure out the formula. So this is going to be in terms of y now, right? Because we have functions of y, uh, which means we have x alone. Right, so that means that r is going to be equal to, and now we're going to do right minus left, okay? Uh, when we're working with y's, we do right minus left. So the right function is g of y, g of y minus, and then that's just 0, right? Uh, x equals 0. Okay, and then for the little r, we have right minus left. So the right one is going to be f of y, and then minus 0 on the left there. So this is simply going to be g of y is our right function, and f of y is the smaller one. Uh, in relation to our axis of rotation. So then we just plug those in and we're integrating on the interval c to d now. And this is on the y on the y axis. And we're going to use dy. Okay? So then our volume uh, of rotation is going or re of revolution is going to look like uh, v is equal to pi times the integral from c to d of capital R. So that would be our g of y squared minus the little r which is f of y. And we're going to square that as well. And then at the end, we have our dy, okay? And that grew from the same exact function, or the same exact formula, that v is equal to pi times the integral from, uh, with some kind of limits of, of integration, and then capital R squared minus little r squared, and then our, in this case, we had dy, since we're integrating uh, along the y-axis there, okay? All right, so this, um, that, that was pretty much it, and I just want to note that a lot of this, like doing the volumes of, ro of revolution especially, it takes a lot of uh, exposure to different kinds of problems. Um, it takes some creativity um, in like looking how to look at certain things and determine what the formula is, especially for the radii. Um, it takes some organization. I always like to organize my information so I know what I'm working with. And lastly, it does take practice. Okay, so I hope that helps uh, and good luck on your homework. I'll talk to you in the practice problems video if you watch.